Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about midways in Go and we will implement everything from scratch using only Golang standard libraries. And the first thing we need to define is what is a midway? And this term exists in other areas of computer science, but in the context of web servers or APIs, a midway is a way to handle common tasks that needs to happen between receiving a request from a client and sending the response back. So as you can see, the request comes all the way from our client until it reaches our handler and the response also comes back. So as you can see, the midware have access for our response, for our request and for the response. And the client first makes a request that will go through the HTTP server and then the midware handler. Then it will go to our MUX inside our server and it will go to our handler function. I have defined it for us what is an HTTP MUX right here. So the first thing, a MUX or a multiplexer, it also exists in other areas of computer science. Okay, so this is in the context of HTTP MUX, right? So it's basically a HTTP request router. If you redirect incoming HTTP requests to the corresponding handler functions based on the request URL, most of the times it will be based on the request URL, okay? So this is the API midware lifecycle Now let's see some of the most common use cases for midwares in Go. And the first one is logging. You will use logging a lot to register every request that reaches an API to basically save any data that you want. It's also using the log to authenticate users to issue a JWT and so on to make custom logic to extract any data needed on requests. You also use it a lot to add properties to client responses. And the fifth one is kind of a Go specific because not all languages have it. So we might use to recover after a critical failure and Golang does that in such an elegant way using the recover built-in function. We'll see that later on on this video. First and foremost, we need to define what is a midware in Go. So basically a midware is any function that takes as parameter an HTTP handler and returns an HTTP rent handler, right? So right here you can see that this is the type handler from Natch HTTP package from Golang standard library, right? So it does have the serve HTTP, which, which receives a response writer and a pointer for our request. Now, let's see how it would be a basic structure of a midware in a Go code. And as we said before, simply put, a midware is a function that receives a handler and returns a handler. So in our case, the following code will be the outer structure of our midware. So this is the outer structure of our midware. But we can't re really use that because this is just a function skeleton. We need to be able to wrap more functionality inside that. So that's why we need to use a handle prompt. So this would be like the complete outer structure of a midware in Go. We need to use a handle function to wrap more logic inside our handlers. So we can do more before and or after calling next serve HTTP. This might look a little too abstract at first. So let's wrap, break it down on why we need to wrap a handler funk inside our midware. To do that, first we need to understand how interfaces work in Go. An interface is just a type that specifies a set of method signatures, which are essentially function declarations. So in here we have the type handler interface and 
this is a method signature, okay, which is basically a function declaration, right? That said, in Go, uh, any type can use interfaces methods if it implements all methods declared by that interface. So that's a rule. If you want to use uh, another interface method with any given type, you must implement all methods from that given interface. Now that we know that an interface is just a type that declares method signatures and that any type can use interfaces methods, let's see why using the handle fun type adapter is working. So if you came from a language like Java, at first glance, you might be a little confused on Golang interfaces usage. That's because you need to know about the interfaces implicit satisfaction. So it's different from Java, right? In Go, a type implicitly satisfies an interface if it have all the required methods. So you don't need to explicitly declare that a type implements an interface. And that's a powerful feature for, from interfaces in Go, but we'll cover that a little bit more in a separate video in the future, okay? That's all in, we need to know for this lecture. If you check inside the file server.go, inside net HTTP package, you will see that uh, the handle func type implements all the methods in the handler interface. As it satisfies this Go interface rule, we can use the handle func as it will be a handler. So you can see that, you can go and see that the code is open source, right? The, the name of the file is server.go, and this is the handler interface, and here is the handler func type adapter, okay? And it implements the serve HTTP. So we can use uh, a handler func as a handler, right? Now you might be wondering, why do we need to use the handler func in the first place? Couldn't we basically use the handler type directly? That's a valid question. The, the handle func is a type adapter. A type adapter is basically, it converts everything with the same signature that it was declared on the type, right? In our case, the handle func is used to convert ordinary functions into HTTP handlers. So don't forget, it must have the same signature as the type, but yeah, it will convert any ordinary function into an HTTP handler. Now that we already understood how is the basic structure of a midway and goal and why we need to use a hands of funk, let's see how it would be a complete simple midway in goal lang. So right here we have the outer skeleton of our, our midways and inside our handler funk function, we will have the logic of our midway, right? So this code, this line of code will be executed before that execution of the next handler or the next midware, midware on, in the call stack or the chain, okay? So this will serve the next handler or midware and it will, it will come back. And when it comes back, this next line of code will be executed, right? Let's spin up an API and test this functionality. As you can see right here, I have listed for us all the requirements that we need to use the simple midware that we just created. So we need an HTTP mux. We need a handle to register our handlers. And next, we need to call listen and serve from the HTTP package. And we have to pass our port and the mux inside the as parameter, right? So let's do that. So here I already have the, our previous midware implemented. Okay, and let's put our port. We'll serve on the 4000 port, uh, doesn't matter. Hello world. 
which receives a response writer and returns an HTTP request, a pointer for the request. Let's let's print uh, hello world. Let's spin up a new mux. Now I need to handle to serve this handler. And we, as we reuse our structure meter, which is uh, our example meter, we'll pass that right here. We need our handler func to use uh, our previously created handler. Uh, let's name it handler so we'll be clear to, to see. That's such a big name. Let's put it like that. Okay, so. Okay. And let's just print print ln starting server on port port we'll check for we for any error when we listen for that and pass the port and the box and any error happens, we will log fail that. Okay. So that's it. Okay, now let's run our API. Let's make a curl request localhost. Okay, we received our response. And yeah, as you can see, here is the login from our meter. But if we leave this like that, whenever we use a meter, we will need to wrap the handler inside it every time. In a real world scenario, that's not really useful. And for this reason, we need to make a middleware chain. It will allow us to chain a bunch of middlewares together much more easily. So, a middleware chain is a common pattern using to create and mass middlewares in Go. And it basically needs to receive as parameters three things: a response writer, a pointer to the to the given request and an infinite variadic amount of meters as third parameters. And basically that's it. In here, I, you can see the handler interface again. So as you can see, this is receiving a response writer and a request inside here and the meter too. So let's implement our meter chain. We first need to declare our middleware type which will be a func that receives an HTTP handler and returns an HTTP handler right now we need to declare our mid our middleware chain middleware chain which we will get a variadic amount of meters, right? It will also return an HTTP handler. Okay. 
we must loop into our, our midwares. And it will execute. It will return our HTTP handlers, right? But right now we have only one midware, so let's discover more midwares more just for once. Now we will declare a pretty common midware in Go, the recover midware. And the recover midware will allow us to recover from any panics that might occur in one or out of our handlers. Happily Golang already have a built-in function for that, which is the recover function. And the recover function will basically interrupt a panic of a different function or a goroutine. And it will restart to a normal execution and returning the error. So as you can see right here, this is um, a standard way of making uh, our recover midware. So we have a diff deferred function right here. And we will use the recover function, which is a built-in function in Go, right? And we will check for, for, for any errors right, right here. If any error occur, it will log for us, okay? And we'll, in here, I'm just printing that the midware is done, okay? But yeah, it is what it is. And it will next serve HTTP. So this is, basically the, the ba basic structure of our mid recovery midware. Okay, and the next step here is to wrap our hello world handler that we have declared right here with all the midwares we have just created inside our midware chain. So let's implement a simple main handler in our main func and use it. So let's declare our main handler. We need to use our midware chain. So func needs to use our hello world handler. Let's use our recover midware, our login midware, and also our, yeah, let's use that one too. Why not? And let's call we can basically call our main handler what right here, no problem. So yeah, we can spin up our server again to test this functionality and let's see what happens. We got a hello world, okay, nothing fancy. And yeah, that's it. As you can see, everything that we have declared Now, if you want to go further on your studies, you you might want to implement a custom router, which will basically need a router structure and a new router method. And you will also need to implement a use method. That's not really hard, right? And the use method will help you to use your midware more easily. But we will cover that in another video in the future. That's no problem. And what we have learned today. So we have learned what are midwares, uh, mid our midware structure in Go, basics about interfaces, uh, ha the handler and the handle font type. We have also learned uh, learned about recovered and locking midware and, uh, and about midware chain. So if you have liked this video, please leave a thumbs up and share that with anyone that might you think that this video might be useful too. See you later.